When people think of the desert, images of scorching heat, endless sand dunes, thorny cacti, and camels trudging along in the blazing sun often come to mind. The desert is known for its extreme temperatures, blazing hot during the day, and freezing cold at night. Yet imagine you can have fresh seafood right in the heart of this desert land. It may sound impossible, but China has turned this vision into a reality. China's success in not only greening vast desert areas, but also creating thriving marine ecosystems in these dry lands is a feat that has astounded the world. In this video, we'll explore the incredible journey China undertook to transform its deserts into fertile grounds and saltwater seas that sustain aquaculture, providing fresh seafood to the nation's inland areas. This transformation offers an inspiring example of human ingenuity in the face of one of Earth's harshest environments. From dusty dunes to fertile fields, just 30 years ago, much of China's land was a barren desert, unbroken by trees or agriculture. Dust storms were common, as were the extreme heat and cold that made life in these regions nearly impossible. But the Chinese government saw untapped potential and decided to act. To them, the desert was not just an obstacle, it was an opportunity to create a new agricultural frontier. Armed with innovative technology, China set forth to turn these worthless desert lands into fertile, productive fields. In Xinjiang, an area historically plagued by arid conditions and isolation, China began applying groundbreaking desert terraforming technologies. They planted green forests along the country's longest desert highway, stabilizing sand dunes and protecting infrastructure from harsh winds. The efforts didn't stop at forestry. The government pushed for large-scale agricultural development, with desert farming aimed at growing crops like rice, a staple for feeding China's vast population. But perhaps the most surprising development of all was China's success in establishing sustainable seafood farming in the desert. In Xinjiang, a remarkable transformation was underway. A local company, Xinjiang Aquaculture Company, founded in 2022, embarked on a unique project to create artificial seawater environments suitable for seafood cultivation. The natural saltwater found in Xinjiang's southern regions had properties similar to seawater, and the company was able to mimic ocean conditions by adjusting salinity, probiotics, and nutrients. The result? They succeeded in raising a variety of seafood, including freshwater fish, tiger shrimp, abalone, and even lobster. This miracle of aquaculture, as many have called it, was not a stroke of luck. It was the product of careful scientific adjustments and relentless innovation. Engineers adjusted probiotic levels in water and introduced micronutrients to simulate ocean conditions necessary for different species. The process allowed seafood species to thrive in an artificial but supportive environment. And while the project faced challenges, such as temperature fluctuations, the company found solutions like using greenhouses to regulate water temperature, ensuring the sustainability of seafood farming even in winter. This project didn't just benefit consumers, it had a transformative effect on the local economy. Freshwater and saltwater seafood farming brought jobs and economic opportunities to an otherwise economically struggling region. The company reported significant income from the sale of black tiger shrimp, a highly valuable seafood item helping to boost the standard of living for people in the area meeting the demand for food security in uncertain times. China's government has long emphasized the importance of food security, and this desert aquaculture endeavor is part of that broader strategy. In recent years, climate change, political instability, and disruptions in global food supply chains have underscored the need for nations to become more self-sufficient. In 2022, the Chinese government banned all Japanese seafood imports after the Fukushima nuclear plant released treated wastewater into the ocean. This ban made local seafood production even more critical. In response, Xinjiang has become one of the country's seven pilot regions for salt-tolerant crop farming and aquaculture. China's goal is to reduce its reliance on imported food products, making Xinjiang's role in seafood production a vital one. Currently, the government aims to increase Xinjiang's seafood output to around 30,000 tons by 2025, while China's total seafood production is expected to reach a staggering 69 million tons. This achievement would not only support local markets but also strengthen China's food security in the face of global uncertainties. The success of China's desert aquaculture model echoes several historic attempts to green deserts worldwide. In the 19th century, European scientists proposed creating inland seas in the Sahara Desert to transform the landscape. Scottish engineer Donald Mackenzie suggested a massive canal that would flood part of the Sahara, but his idea remained unfeasible due to high costs. Another French engineer proposed a similar project, 
supported by the famous diplomat Ferdinand de Lesseps, the man behind the Suez Canal. However, this plan too was eventually abandoned. More recently, in 2018, the Silicon Valley company Y Combinator proposed a $50 trillion project to create water reservoirs in California's Algodones Desert to combat climate change. Though ambitious, the project remains on hold due to its high costs. However, these ideas all share a vision of using technology and human innovation to transform uninhabitable deserts into productive landscapes. China's approach to desert aquaculture sets it apart because of its practicality, scalability, and immediate impact. Where other ideas fell short due to cost or impracticality, China's desert seafood farming has proved that success is possible by utilizing local resources, cutting-edge technology, and government support. The project is a triumph of engineering that shows how nations might approach food security and environmental restoration in the face of climate change and population growth. China's success in turning desert areas into productive farmlands and seafood farms offers a potential model for other countries battling desertification. It serves as a reminder that human intervention, when aligned with environmental goals, can mitigate some of the worst effects of climate change. Through sustainable development practices and investment in scientific research, China has demonstrated that it is possible to reverse the effects of desertification and turn barren land into a life-sustaining environment. A visionary model for a greener, more food-secure world. As other nations grapple with desertification and food insecurity, China's Xinjiang experiment stands out as a beacon of hope. The vision of turning lifeless deserts into productive ecosystems once the stuff of science fiction, is now a living reality that may inspire future generations. Before watching this video, did you know that fresh seafood could be raised in the middle of a desert? Could this be the answer to global food security? What do you think? Please leave your comment below. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for making it this far. If you like this video, you might want to share it with a like-minded friend. Thank you and as always, stay blessed.